Amen. 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 The question is straight. I believe the presence of God is here with us already. So we go straight to the question. Say, how does spiritual inf infancy differ from spiritual maturity? <laughs> I will start with 1 Corinthians 13 and verse 11. It says, when I was a child, I talked like a child. Thoughts like a child, I reasoned like a child. Now that I have become a man, I have done with the childish ways and have put them aside. And also in book of Colossians. Okay, let me start with this. First of all, some people might be asking, is there anything like spiritual infancy? Is there anything like spiritual maturity? Yes, there is. A person that is just converted into the kingdom a person that don't know nothing about Christ, know nothing about the scripture, know nothing about the presence of God, know nothing about the Holy Spirit, can be graded as somebody that is a child in Christianity. But when you begin to understand God's will, when you begin to understand the presence of God, when you begin to understand the scripture, when you begin to so certain things begin to be revealed to you, we are rooted with the word of God. That is when you have begun to attain that height of maturity in spiritual reign. So you need to know that when you, if you see yourself that you don't know anything yet, when you see yourself that when situation occurs, you don't even have the word to, to counter it, you don't even understand what to do, but you just go to church, but you know there is God, then you are not, you are not yet there. And in certain things, one person made mention of it, there is certain level of maturity that one needs to attend for God to give you a responsibility. If you don't reach that maturity, God cannot entrust you with certain people, with certain souls, with certain responsibility. Amen? Amen. And also in Colossians, you can turn to our Bibles to Colossians very fast. In Colossians chapter 3, from 2, 3, and 4, I will just make out some points. He said, Children, obey your parents in everything, for this is pleasing to the Lord. Fathers, do not provoke your children. These are, for example, now these are the things uh, Peter and Paul wrote. To These are kind of the rules that guide a child. We are in infancy. You are in infancy. These are the things. Imagine when we are younger. These are the things, the rules they gave us to guide us to a Christian life. But when you grow in maturity in Christ, you, are not, you don't need to be told to obey your parents. You don't need to be told to do certain things. And also in verse 4, uh, chapter 4, verse 6, it says, let your speech be seasoned with salt. Then in this place, Paul is already admonishing us like adults. As an adult, as a ma somebody that is mature in the spirit, you should know when to. If you don't meet, you don't just meet a prostitute in the street and begin to condemn the prostitute, say you are a sinner and you you lose the soul. You need a certain way to speak to that person to be able to win that soul. That is where your maturity in Christianity begins to manifest. But a child will say, "See what this prostitute is doing." Do you see what this person is doing? Just sleeping around. See, it's just see. But an adult, somebody that is mature in the spirit, will season kings on the world with salt. Like, will know the right words to use and know that the major aim is for me to win those, this soul to Christ. Do you understand what I'm saying? So there are certain things that is required of you for us to know the word of God and understand the word of God. Also to know when to apply the word of God. Also to be rooted in prayers. And also to be able to understand the will of God in your life. And be able to confront every situation that is facing you and pass over it. That is a sign that you are already in that level of maturity in spirit. Amen. Amen. 